let's head over to <laughs> let's head over to Brackenbrook with the uh, epic stash. I don't like the look of those rangers one bit. No. Okay. He doesn't doesn't like the rangers. So it looks like he wants us to talk to three different people. So as you see, the second I took that, there are now three rings on the minimap. So we will go to these three locations. What do you three need? Rings to rule them all. <laughs> or at least to rule this quest. <laughs> She she believes that we're safe, so we'll go to the next one. Look at that! My cloak's got a smug look on its face. Okay. How can I be of service? Um, she believes it's safe, so we got one more right out front here. Constable Sisselwool. Oh, oh, that's wrong. Oh, that's right, guy. Yeah. How can I be of service? Okay, the leaves are safe also. So now we'll just head back to the ring. I can close my bag. Alas for peaceful folk everywhere. It is an enormous task to convince them that evil people with evil intentions will commit evil deeds. Before you try to fight, you must learn what skills you may from the trainer. Okay, so just leveled, which is the uh, the cool elvish tree looking effect. So now it wants me to talk to the, the warden trainer. So first I'm going to put those gloves on. I picked the, the medium gloves again. Are they purple? No, that's good at least. Oh no, they're purple. That's good. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so let's go talk to our trainer. Our trainer is right out here. If you notice, there are icons on the map and you can find who you need to find using those icons. Um, also, if you need to find out where your quest is in the area, you can hover over the quest and it will start flashing. So say for example you're supposed to kill boars and the boars are here, this whole area would be like blue and it corresponds to the color there, you would hover over it and it would flash. So it's easy to find quest areas on the map. Okay, so the warden trainer is over here. See what he's got for me. Intro, thigh to Would neck. Would you do something for me? Strike a training dummy with Death Strike. Now, Death Strike, of course, is the the gambit that uses the two shield or the two spears. Excuse me. So, training dummy. We got a spear, a spear, making Death Strike. Okay. You can, you can leave. You can leave him alone. There you go. Okay. So we did What's that. What do you need? So rewards, we get these automatically, and then we get to choose one of these. So is this better than our spear? Yeah, that is. Probably get the spear. Okay. Uh, the wardens can use weapons other than spears. Personally, I like the spear and shield look, and you'll see a lot of wardens using the spear. Uh, the spear has uh, innate bleed effects, and, uh, you know, that's having a dot on your basic weapon is, is a pretty good thing. So we will do new shield and new spear. Okay, now Great we got a train. So I got shield bash. So shield bash adds a shield icon to the gambit display. Okay, so to equip a skill, it automatically dropped it on there, so I don't have to worry about it. And then the gambit, we got a defensive strike. So what this one does is it's two shields, and then you activate it. It does a little bit of damage, and uh, it's now letting me use potency. Um, basically, potency is a way to queue up something, uh, queue up a gambit so you have it later on. Uh, not something I use a whole lot, but end game I hear it is quite useful on a warden. There we go. Okay, so where does it want me to go now? Talk to Strider. So we'll head back to Strider. Now, if you notice, the uh, Death Strike and the the one I just got, the defensive one, they're not on my bar. They're not skills that go on your bar. You just have to memorize them. Uh, luckily, the patterns are pretty easy to memorize. Do you feel confident in what you have learned? Undear, my poor old friend. A shadow has crept over him. Okay, so we gotta ask Brackenbrook for directions to and start to earn his favor. Okay, so it had just mentioned something I do want to show you guys. Um, being a free-to-play game, 
this game actually offers a DDO store. The DDO store works just like all of Turbine's other stores, like, Ant or excuse me, Lotro store, uh, works just like the DDO store, is what I meant to say. Uh, DDO is another series we run, so I'm used to saying DDO store. The, uh, the store is very similar, almost identical to the way the DDO store works, actually. The Lotro store has things as small as um, basic weapons and potions and things like that, all the way up to quest packs and um, gear and t bonus potions and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to go over the, some of the stuff in the store that is very popular a little later. Things like task reset counters and uh, deed potions and deed modifiers and stuff like that. We'll go over that in a later episode. Okay, so Mr. Brackenbrook. I don't like the look of those rangers one bit. Okay, so complete a quest for Calder Cobb and then gather King's Lloyd. Okay, so we took that, so let's go to the map. So like I had said, right there, we have two things. We have the guy we need to talk to is the flashing ring, and then the red area is where we need to find the king's foil. So let's head on out. Shouldn't be too far out here. They're behind me, Dark Relic Mirror. I am. Question, on the, uh, on the maps... Does it, uh, you know how it shows you where you need to go, does it stay like that through through the whole game, or is it only for the newbie areas? It, it does stay like that through the whole game. It's something that they've had since the launch of the game. So every quest is compatible with it, so no matter where you go, it'll continue to do that. And you can actually go into your quest and turn on tracking or not. So, so if you have one on that you don't want to be on, you can remove it from the tracker or add to the tracker so that you got it on your map there. That is so convenient. Cause yeah, I, I hate having to to look up on on you know third party websites and try to find okay where am I supposed to go for this one and and oh it's it's just it makes it so much more convenient when they do that. <laughs> yeah, very much so. You rarely have to look anything up on a third party site with this game. It's, well, it's very good about having well, the tools in the game if it for you. Isn't the rumor monger? The rumor monger, huh? Okay. That is so mean. So apparently, uh, us rumor mongers have to defeat wolves. And uh, search the top for the source of the wolves. So that should have changed this quest. So yeah, we've got the orange area now. So this is where we got to find the source, and then this is where we got to kill wolves. So let's head down and get the king's foil first. I see about eight wolves right here. I mean, they call them sheep, but I think that uh, with his attitude, they, they, they should count as wolves. <laughs> <laughs> like your thought, thought process. <laughs> Smacked him in the face with my shield, and he died. There we go. Okay. Are we around the King's Foil area? It's back over here. Okay. And if you want a free roam camera so you can look at the front of your character or look around while you're running, you just use the left mouse button. Click down the left mouse button, move your mouse around, and you will be able to look around. <laughs> Guys are definitely not lasting very long. You getting credit for these wolves? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. So that's all the wolves we needed. I love it when they do the group updates like that. Yeah, it's a lot better. Okay, so we gotta go up to the top of this thing. How did that thing block my spear? How is that even possible? Okay, so that's a quest item. The King's Foil. I believe we need four of those. Well, it looks like these are individual updates. They are, but we can both click on the same one. Oh, excellent. Couple more up here. Oh, right in the face. I think that one blocked your uh, spear with its throat. Yeah, no doubt. Wasn't a really good strategy there. It didn't really work out too good for him. Not so much. Okay, so you ready? Where you at? 
Just grab my last one right now. There we go. Okay. We gotta head up the stairs here. We gotta find what's causing all these problems. The bears? The bears. The bears. It could be the bulls. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna click on this. Strange banner. And someone did not like that. Ruh -ruh. The wolf master. I think he needs a spear in the face. Wow, he lasted. <laughs> but I want to do my gambits. I can't do my gambits if they die. Well, there we go. Okay. So let's head down. We did that one. So now we got to figure out why exactly he set us up to be ambushed there. That's not good. Probably because he thinks we're rumor mongers. Kind of looked like we were doing less uh, less gambits and more wolverines. There you go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> snare there. Moving oh, slow. How dare he snare me? Okay, so now both of our quests are heading back to that guy. This game does have all the the things you would expect in an MMO. It has mounts. Um, later in the game, so you can, of course, use mounts to travel. It has quick travel. It has uh, quick travel points. They're uh, stables. You go on a horseback. There are also ways to do fast traveling when you're going long distances that unlocks as you reach certain levels. Um, very useful. Very, very useful. And then, of course, in the DDO store, they have teleport stuff. Let you instantly teleport back somewhere. Also in the store. A weakling like you defeated the Wolfmaster? <laughs> Did I say DDO story again? <laughs> I play way too much DDO. If you're curious about the other store that I keep mentioning on accident, we do have a DDO series. Please feel free to take a look and uh, see what you think. Okay, so let's see. Where does he want us to go? Back, back into um, town. Yeah, back to Strider. Okay. Then, you know, I don't trust those rangers. <laughs> <laughs> I hear they die constantly. I know this one named Xavier <laughs> dies all the time. Oh yeah, many many ranger down jokes. I think we could have a whole episode just dedicated to ranger down jokes. Yeah, no doubt. There was an epic battle going over there. It turned out to be a guy beating on a training dummy. Calder Cobb is a traitor. Most Danger has found you earlier than I predicted. <laughs> I cannot decide which is more dangerous right now. Calder Cobb's treachery or the ignorance of Captain Brackenbrook. Okay, so we got potions. Salves, as they call them. Or these are essences. Oh, no, one's a salve, one's an essence. So these are basically just pots. They're consumables. You click it and it goes away. And uh, they instantly give you back. This one gives you back health, and this one gives you back power. Um, they're on a cooldown, so if you use one, you won't be able to use it again right away. But uh, they, are, they are there and nice in emergencies, especially the health ones.